Now justice, the National Commission uh, easily uh, accepted respect for persons. With some debate, accepted beneficence. But justice uh, was not something that, uh, I mean, the National Commission first looked at ethical principles in terms of what has we, wh what do we find in the preceding documents in Nuremberg and in Helsinki? And they found nothing that smacked of justice in there. There was one statement in the preamble to the Nuremberg Code that the subjects of the research were asocial people, or in more familiar language, the Nazis referred to these people as life unworthy of life. And you could read that as uh, the people who wrote Nuremberg had some justice-based sentiments about, well, it's not proper to use such people as research subjects. But the one who spearheaded uh, getting justice into the uh, uh, ethical principles of the commission was Karen Labax. And Karen developed a lifelong commitment to studies on justice, even wrote a, a major book on uh, justice. But she's the one who argued uh, very much that uh, uh, for the idea that people who were what we came to call vulnerable or disadvantaged were entitled to very special consideration. Well, certainly with the Tuskegee study having been the impetus yes. for the creation of the uh, National Commission, you would think that justice would have constantly been on people's mind because there was an illustration of a, of a vulnerable group, yes. uh, a marginalized group, being treated uh, very unjustly. Um, so I'm, su I'm surprised that, uh, granted, you're, you're quite right, that up until that time, uh, medical ethics and then the emerging field of bioethics had been much more uh, dealing with the struggle between beneficence in the form of paternalism yes. and autonomy in the, yeah. in the form of informed consent and self-determination. But uh, I would have thought that third lodestar there was uh, pretty prominent in the discussions. Karen went e even deeper than that. She said, everybody has a sense of justice. She said, I'll never forget this, if you put a piece of cake on the table, and you've got two children, and you divide it, and you don't get it exactly even, the one who gets a smaller piece will say, that's not fair. Right. And she said, that's justice as fairness, mm -hmm. using Rawls's right. uh, uh, formulation. And Rawls published his theory of justice just about three years before the commission was convened, and it was extraordinarily uh, influential book. <laughs>